What's up geeks and gamers, it's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are talking about Diamond Toys says no demand for Disney Star Wars characters. Wow, it's almost like someone has been saying that for nearly two years here on the Geeks and Gamers channel. I wonder who that could be, and I am not the only one. Plenty of people in the Phantom Menace have been saying the same thing. Jeff over at World Class Bullshitters has done a fantastic job of covering the fall of Star Wars toys under Disney. We've talked about this time and time again. The weirdo people that they market these toys to do not buy toys. SJWs do not buy toys. SJWs don't go to movies. SJWs don't do anything but get on Twitter and hashtag and talk about how much they love these characters and then they call people ist and ism for not buying the toys then you ask them hey can you uh show some pictures of your Disney Star Wars toy collection and they can never do it it's so interesting how that works out but again we were right and they were wrong as is per usual all right so let's get into it over on Bleeding Fool, uh, Ichi Baka, friend of the Fandom Menace, part of the Fandom Menace. Ichi does a fantastic job, so shout out to Ichi and Bleeding Fool. Diamond Toys says no demand for Disney Star Wars characters. Um, Chuck Ty Ticera, uh, the president of Diamond Select Toys, was recently interviewed by RebelScum.com, and here is a portion of that interview that was very interesting. And in this, uh, Chris Wyman of Rebel Scum says, uh, With the release of Star Wars The Last Jedi in 2017, to date we've gotten a Luke Skywalker minibus, a Praetorian Guard statue, an Executioner Trooper statue, and some pork bookends. Needless to say, the uh, Episode 8 shelf has some room for more characters. Are there plans to continue making product from that film? Um, as you know, whatever was done before Diamond Select Toys uh, had no control over. Um, Gentle Giant had uh, made those decisions, but as I said, uh, Dev is still here guiding the brand, and we are aware of the past history. I will say, from what we've seen, the sales of the products from 7 and 8 were not too strong. And I know those movies, as well as 9, have their fans, and those fans might say GG just never did the right product or characters or formats, and they might be correct. However, we can only go by what we know. For sure, the door is not closed on sequel trilogy products, and we are working on a couple of pieces from The Rise of Skywalker right now. We are not allowed, we were not allowed all access to the uh, movie before it came out, so some work could not begin until after the movie came out. We are keeping a very close eye on it and listening to fan feedback. So there is demand. Uh, so if there is demand, uh, we'd be happy to satisfy it. If there is demand. Because there is no demand. Um, and then uh, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker hit theaters in last December. And it looks like there are just three pieces up for pre-order at this time. Those being the Sith Trooper mini bust, the Kylo Ren Dreamer Premier Collection statue, and Kylo Ren Legends and 3D Dimensions bust. I would imagine there are some very requested characters, especially in the ever-popular mini bust. The fans would love to see names like Emperor Palpatine, Poe Dameron, Zori Bliss, Babu Frick, Lando Calrissian, 3PO, and more. Can you speak on when we might see more characters from the final chapter of a nine film Star Wars saga as I mentioned before we are working on some but I have to but I have to ask are you sure there's a lot there's lots of demand for these very requested characters the overall demand for bust and Star Wars products is not what it was 10 or even five years ago boom boom I love how these Star Wars sites are just making up that there's demand there is no demand for these trash characters after what Disney has done to them. You can act like there's a demand, but here you have, you actually have a person in the toy industry. But I have to ask, are you sure there's a lot of demand for these very requested characters? The overall demand for Bust and Star Wars products is not what it was 10 or even 5 years ago. It's not just a gentle giant issue. The brand is very strong with The Mandalorian and Clone Wars and more new content to come. But you all know what the production runs of collector products were in the past compared to now. We would very much love to make more products from the new movie. It's not like we're sitting behind our desk, uh, wringing our hands, thinking, how can we stick it to fans and not make bust that <laughs> they want that will make us money, right? We just, as of yet, have not seen enough fans that would want to buy a bust. Have that personal affection for some of these new characters that makes sense to justify going to production. But for sure, we're watching it, and perhaps as more time passes, fan affection 
uh, for those characters will grow. Boom, boom, boom. Love it. I love how the loaded question. There's demand. There's some very requested. I would imagine there are some very requested characters. No, there's not. Because Disney has ruined, ruined this entire mythology under their watch. They haven't ruined anything that came before it, but they have ruined it after the fact. After they purchased it, everything they have touched, no one cares. The people on Twitter that are tweeting and hashtagging and crying and whining are not interested. They don't care about these characters. They don't care about toys. They've never cared about toys. They've never cared about Star Wars. They only pretend to because they see it as a social justice stepping stone. That's it. Kathleen Kennedy has pandered these people. Lucasfilm has pandered these people. And this is what you get. They have single-handedly destroyed a massive part of the toy industry because they have pandered to social justice weirdos that do not care about any of this stuff. It is unbelievable, but that is where we are. I am so happy that Diamond Toys talked about this um, you know, I love it how he's going, do you think we're not wanting to produce these things and make money? There is no demand. There's no demand for this. This is why we're not making it. Of course they would make it if there was a demand. But people don't care. Star Wars fans, real Star Wars fans, actual Star Wars fans, we don't care about anything in the sequel trilogy. There was some goodwill after The Force Awakens. It's all been pissed away now. It's all gone. It's dead. It's over with. And Disney deserves it. Disney has done a terrible job. Lucasfilm has done a terrible job. The facts do not care about your feelings. I'm dropping some Ben Shapiro on you. And that is going to make them cry even more. But it is the reality of the situation. We have told you over and over and over again that Star Wars toys are not selling there is no interest because social justice warriors don't buy toys and they continue to say we were making it up, you're lying, yada, yada, yada. But the evidence is there. We've all known it. You know it. I know it. The only people that don't know it are the blue-haired weirdos over on Twitter. So let me know your thoughts about this. Go ahead and check out Bleeding Fool. Check out Ichibaka. And um, I really do appreciate this. Uh, them covering this story. And uh, shout out to Rebel Scum. Shout out to rebelscum.com for uh, doing this interview. They probably did not intend for this. I don't know rebelscum.com, so we'll have to see um, what their take on everything is. Maybe they are maybe they don't like the sequel trilogy. I doubt it with that loaded question of this nonsense about there's some big-time demand for these characters. There's not. Absolutely not. And that question bit you in your ass, and it is beautiful. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, check out Gaming with Geeks, our gaming channel. Check out Park Hoppin. That is our theme park channel. Check out Sports Wars, our sports channel. Check out Geeks and Gamers Live, our live channel. Check out Gaming with Geeks over on Twitch. And then also check out GeeksAndGamers.com. Currently being rebuilt for a better experience for all of you. Thank you all for the support. You guys have a great day. And we... Oh, wait. Okay. I got to do it. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Solo lost money. Raylos are weird. Star Wars toys are garbage. And we will talk to you later.